Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you how to create some kind of hypersaw inside of Bitwig Studio without using an oscillator with a unison feature. And you may use these kind of sounds for um, hard step, trance, something along those lines where you need a super dense saw lead, sawtooth lead. And maybe it's also something for synthwave, I have no idea. So I want to show you how to create this pretty easy. Uh, we take here a polymer synthesizer. And in here we can use the wavetable, which features some kind of unison setting, up to 16 voices, detuning here and spread, which is nice. But we can also just use here the sawtooth oscillator, which doesn't have a unison feature. So it sounds, sounds like this. Maybe we open up the filter here. So pretty default. So what we're gonna do is we uh, take here uh, a random mod and switch this to kilohertz, which is audio rate, all the way up to 50 kilohertz. Pull this here to smoothing setting all the way to the right. And maybe we use bipolar here, uh, polyphonic. We want to have this for every voice. And then we're gonna use here the modulator out of the random mod for the pitch, just just a tad, not too much. Just a bit. Um, then we switch here the polymer into voice stacking mode up to five voices. Use a voice stack modulator. So now that we have five voices basically out of this preset we just created, we can uh, use here the voice stacking in the minus one to plus one mode and use that also on the pitch. So we just slightly detune this. Just dial, dial into taste, right? Sometimes you want to have something more detuned, something like this. Maybe for hot style. For trance, you probably want to have more something more uh, where you can hear a clear pitch. Something like this. But it's up to you what you want to use for that. Um, then we can also use the minus one plus one for uh, stereo spread. So we can spread this here in the panorama. So we go all the way up to 100%. So now the first voice is basically on the left side. Uh, the second voice is here um, all the way to the left, then the middle and so on. So the all the five voices are spread out across the panorama evenly, which is nice. Sounds like this. Maybe it's too much, so we can dial this back. So now we have five voices, basically with, ju with just one note. And um, to create these nice little, um, let's say, um, yeah, rave leads, you need at least a multi note. And here we use the root note. We use maybe um, the seventh. We use one octave lower, maybe two octaves lower. And then also, um, this is, I think, a fifth uh, one octave higher. So it sounds like this. <laughs> way too much, so we can dial this back here. So you get this kind of sound, maybe you can also dial in here the randomization for the pitch a bit more. Okay, so it, get, it, it, it gets a bit noisy, but um, when you use here um, the filter for that. Right, it sounds a bit better. right yeah 
have to find a sweet spot. <laughs> So you get these typical rave leads and um, if that's not enough you can even switch here to maybe the swarm oscillator which is basically just an yeah and saw oscillator with multiple voices so we have here the spread and we can also uh, change here the distribution of the spread <laughs> can use that to change up the sound or maybe go back to the wavetable here and use also a saw with unison oh, we kill here basically the voices we have only 12 voices let me go up here too it completely kills the cpu <laughs> But when your CPU is, is not dying out, then you get a fat sound. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can just use Sawtooth for that here with a bit of voice stacking and um, the random mod to modulate the pitch and um, the panning. And then you get this nice thick sound. It's also important to use multiple notes, of course, because these rave leads are never just one single pitch. You have also always here um, the root and the uh, fifth in there at some point. Uh, maybe a minus 24 is too much. We can also go here to uh, plus 12. This would work too. Right. Or maybe um, minus 5. I think it sounds legit. So this is basically the video for today. I want to give you a quick idea how to create this kind of hyper source uh, with the polymer. Of course, you can do this also in the grid if you want to, uh, or with the polysynth itself. You don't need to use the polymer, uh, but that's my way of doing it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.